for game seven. Flyers falling behind 3 0 in this series. They've won three straight. First time in 35 years a team has even made it to a game seven from that situation. Now they try to finish the deal. Ends up with a penalty. So the Bruins to the power play. And here's Char with the bomb. Panic save late. Rebound Ryder shot. He's gone. The all important first goal belongs to Boston. A power play tally. On the faceoff, that's the save that Michael Layton made, and I'll give Michael Ryder a ton of credit. We talk a lot about getting the loose pucks and puck retrieval. Michael Ryder of the Boston Bruins got to that puck real quick. Not too often that uh, Michael Layton lets a rebound out quite. And they recaptured by Boston. Boychuk to Weidman. Weidman in across the Philadelphia zone. Wide on Carl. Centered it. They score. Lucic going hard to the net. And the Bruins power play doing the damage early. 2 0 Boston. Came in the back door and nobody saw him over the shoulder. Flo Giroux was back, but not back in time. Uh, that's a big body to be able to cover, but Weidman does a great job. He looks up, he's got his head up, and then Lucic outside the pipe. That's the key. It's Powell is there. Darryl Powell ridden to the wall, lost it. Timonen's caught. Three on two for the Bruins. Lucic with the puck. Lucic holds the shot. He scores. Milan Lucic beating Leighton. It's three nothing Boston. All Bruins here in the first. Had to keep this play alive, pinching in. But Darryl Powell couldn't get the puck to him, and away came the Bruins on a three on two. Excellent decision by Milan Lucic. Not even to think about passing. But to take the free shot on Michael Layton. Well, basically, what is a two on two right there? And Milan has called timeout. And he has the Flyers over at the bench and obviously imparting some wisdom on them, trying to calm things down here. If they can get the next goal, try to climb back in. Hey, this series has been all about coming back from improbable deficits. They got another one right here in game seven. Well, this situation right now is the microcosm of the whole series. Indeed. And to get it into the corner. Weidman's there. He was careening into Richards. Richards hits the ice. Van Riemsdyk to the puck. Pro the right shot. He scores! Dirty but good. Van Riemsdyk dribbles one home. And the Flyers are on the board. It is three to one. James Van Riemsdyk, his first NHL playoff goal. And they like it in Philadelphia. Mike Richards out here on the line with Claude Giroux and James Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk has been fighting it. Look at this. I mean, ugly at this time of year, especially when you're down three to zip, is really pretty. Well, you see the Boston Bruin defenseman, Stuart. He actually kind of slumped. A one four. Oh, oh, what? Looks like a zero five. Yep. That's and they find the seam in his heart. And will take the pass. Move up to the corner. Get knocked to his knees. From his knees. Back to parent. They'll just dump it in along the wall. Briere is there centering for Leno. Backhander save. Rebound. Hard. On the rebound, beats Rask, and this is a one-goal hockey game. It is three to two. More pandemonium in Philadelphia as Hartnell scores for a case of tasty cakes. Oh, right here, quick spin around out to Billy Leno. Leno spin around attempt, and then Hartnell with a goal scorer's finish, battling for the puck, winning the battle, finds Briere. Briere in all the way around. He, he scored. It somehow got in. The Flyers have tied this game at three. Briere just firing it from an impossible angle, and it wound up in the Flyers, much to the happiness of the throng at the Wachovia Center, have made it all the way back to 3-3. Three, three. They score for a case of Tasty Cakes. Boy, when Danny Briere hit the blue line, it was like he was shot out of a cannon. A good defensive play there by Matt Hunwick that looked like it might have a chance to keep it out, but it went up in the air and then bounced off of Bruin and into the net. There's the play by Hunwick. It might have gone off the back of Rask or off of Andrew Ference, but the Flyers have tied this game. It goes right off of the back of Hunwick. Tips through, here's Van Riemsdyk charging in. Van Riemsdyk drag shot, batted by Rask, high in the air. Last right in front of him, they jam for it. Where is it? Rask holds his glove up. Referee hasn't made a signal yet. Looked like you might have been able to make the case right here. Watch the post at the bottom of your screen. Rask's left pad right there looks like it gets pushed across the line. You lose sight of the puck. 
by the time we pick it back up visually the puck is from another angle outside of the line here's where we lose sight of it right now right there and we can't tell where the puck is oh my gosh wait a minute it did look like it bounced off Rask's left pad behind the line his pad from the overhead at, the, at this point right here Tuka Rask is looking out front. You can see he has no idea where the puck is. It clearly bounces off his pad. From this angle, it looks as if the pad is across the goal line and behind the goal line. This is a toughie. And, you know, there are four, I believe, four different networks broadcasting this game. So here's yeah. the call. Upon video review, the puck does not completely cross the line. The call on the ice stands. Wow. Being around behind the net, Conger. Couldn't get to it. Zabalka in the slot, shot Ryder glanced off the post. 50% on the faceoffs through two periods. Oh, Chris Pronger rings one off the post. The light goes on behind Rask, but no goal inside. Catch our breasts. Pronger shot redirected and off the inside of the post. It stayed out barely. We feed to Briere. Flyers have a two on one. Briere looking for Hartnell. It's tipped away as the Bruins got back in a hurry. Flyers with a slow change. Here come the Bruins. Lucic, the shot, hit the post. It appeared to change direction. There was a knuckler, and it then hit the post. Post at both ends now here in the third. Now Leno the other way. Leno, stick handling, centering. That's cut off by Savart. And now play stopped. Kyle at the point, 26 seconds on the power play. Now it's Gagne. Gagne for Leno. Leno to Richards. Richards' is shot redirected. Gagne shot, he scores! Magnificent poise. Gagne with it to Leno. Leno knew what he wanted to do, and that was get it out to the side to Mike Richards. Richards with a nice little feather touch pass in front, and then the poise really took over. Gagne got it on a broken play, turned, and ripped it off the post high. Unbelievable play. Great time to be a left-handed shot. All by himself. Last And it goes to the point. Weidman, look out. Cross ice now in the slot shot. Preserve the lead. He takes a look. His shot goes off a stick and wide. Fighting to get to it. Giroud now for Gagne. Another shot. Stick save. Rask. Gagne's got it again. Hobbled, but not slow. Here's Giroud. Giroud ridden by Boychuk. Giroud outworking the Bruins. Three of them working on him, and Giroud continues to control with his skates. What work by Claude Giroud. Finally taken down. Just continues. He gets back up to control the puck. Time wasting off the clock is Claude Giroux, a one-man game, finally just back in. Unbelievable. The club not stop it. It went off his skate. Played by Recky to Lucic. Now Bergeron, 12 seconds. Bergeron centering, comes back out. Chara turning with it, eight seconds. He'll wind and fire wide. Weidman back to it, five seconds. Turns, flips, blocked off. Giroux will clear the zone. <laughs> this improbable, incredible comeback is complete. History made in Boston tonight. The fire defeat the Bruins 4-3. They are the third team in NHL history to come from behind after trailing